Hello. So you notice know, we have one sulky, or not sulky, but naked neck. He has our other naked neck. Decided to do a disappearing trick on us last night and run away. Let's go water. This one doesn't. So now we got to try and catch Mavis because Myrtle's in here, but Mavis got out on us. I just want to see if Myrtle laid. She didn't. Get some greens to them. And tonight, the rest of these guys are going to Fraser Camp. So, then these guys will be a little happier, and then I can get my silkies in here once they're big enough. These are our new layers, which are getting fantastic and beautiful. But, it's not overly hot, and... The birds are really calm today. Um, I'm thinking once I get these other last few meat chicks out and processed, these birds are going to calm down even more. And believe the last time I put meat chicks in here because it stressed my other wine knots out too great um, because they are very aggressive when they're eating. Um, but surprisingly, there's not a lot of bugs in here today. They're doing their thing while keeping the mosquitoes down in here great um, the only reason I put five meat chicks in here is when we process the other ones these ones were the those are my feet no those are my feet um, when we process the other ones these guys were the ones that uh, didn't grow properly and needed some extra time to grow so that's why they got put in here with the other birds but that breeze is coming in nice. Oh, it's coming in nice. Uh, so I'm going to get these guys some water. Because they're nearly out. And put their screen up. And hopefully Molly leaves it alone today. And we don't lose another chicken. And the worst part about where the coop is, it's close to the woods. So if the chick chickens get out, they're pretty much gone for. But that happens on a farm. You lose some, you gain some. Um, gotta be careful. Okay, let me help. So, if you're new to our channel, the types of chickens I have in here are the little tiny brown ones right here. Those are Partridge Wine Dots. He is a Bantam Rhode Island Red. These are Sexling and these are Butthead Cornish Cross. Um, the only reason why these guys are in here with the other birds is because they were too small when I processed the rest and I needed to get them up to in three or four pounds. So they can put in here. So you can fatten them up. And I have a bantam naked neck. I had two until last night, thanks to my dog. Who knocked the screen over and she got out. And that's how quick you gotta work with those Cornish Cross because they are very fast and I gotta get some water for them. Are you enjoying the swim pool? Huh? Are you enjoying the swimming pool? Yeah I got it because I was cold though just because I just picked it up. No it's not. You're silly. You're gonna bust that. There's stuff in the yard. Go play in the pool. Where's your brother? He's in the pool laying on the bed. A pool don't look that clean. Put the pump on for a while, please. He's just going to he's just sleeping. Are you enjoying your pool? He wants to get a tan, but he doesn't see any birds. I know he does. He wants to get a tan. Okay, we'll turn the pool on for a little bit, please. 
So, some of you might ask, um, ask us, sorry, uh, why we don't let the chickens out free range, why they're in the coop 24-7. Well, basically, it's because I have dogs and I have cats. Um, they're secure in here, and I know they're secure, and I know they're healthy, and I know they're getting water, and I know they're getting some greens every day on a perfect schedule. They're getting fed on schedule. Um, I can do my number count real quick, make sure nothing's got out, nothing's loose. I put the scraping screen in every day. The windows are open every day, and it's in a nice shaded area where it's nice and cool. 24 7 7 days a week 365 days a year in the winter though it is a pain in the butt the shovel back here de-ice and check the birds twice a day um we feed every 12 hours and like i said these big meat birds they are going today the white ones the uh sacklings they're my layers so they're staying they've made their how they made their home um so yeah I just brought them some fresh water. We have three waters in there and six food dishes. So they get plenty to eat. And I'll just show you how much feed they get a day, twice a day actually. They get this bucket full twice a day. What? Whoa, he got me. Yeah. They're playing with Hulk the the goose, once the goose is a little bit bigger, he'll be joining the flock in here. Just to show you the difference standing by the chicken hoop. It seems really nice and bright right here. Let me go walk five feet this way to show you the difference. How nice and cool it is where the, the chicken coop is to here. I gotta show you this. this Run this way! Like, no way. Mama, where's my hockey boy at? Oh, you found me. Hi, Hi baby. Hi, 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 Mama. Hi, baby. Hey, Mama. I can't tell him. Why can't I tell him? Hold on, Brody. You want me to get him? No, I'll get him. Hold on. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. He attacked me. Him loves his mama. <laughs> Him loves his mama. Hokey not camera shy no more? No, Hokey no, he not. still is. Hokey good boy. Hokey wanna go in the pool? Yeah. Hey Brennan, you go get in the pool with Hokey. Yeah, let's go. Let's swim. Let's swim in. Let him swim. I want, I want him to go on there. No, no he'll he bust can't. it. He'll bust that. His nails are too sharp. Oh, bust, bust. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Hi, Hokey. Can you swim? Yeah, he'll swim. There you go, Hokey. Oh, Brayden, no. you're scaring him. No. <laughs> Why not let him swim all over? Yeah. You're going to have to get in to catch him, though. Okay, take your phone. Sorry if I had bad guilt. I tried to look at you. I tried to hold the phone. That's okay. And this water will oh, not hold him, hurt him. It's... He cleaned. That's okay. It'll be cleaned. <laughs> this water will not hurt him. For one, the pool needs to be desperately... Which makes this small. I need my fish. Oh, oh, what are you doing, Hulk? Oh, oh God, no. Oh, God, ow. That's oh, okay. No, okay, right. Brent. I saw him. Get off the floaty. It's cold. I'm getting in and it's cold and I got dried off already. Yeah, and you're going to have to get right in to make sure he's okay. Oh, Is that better, Hulky? Yep. I'm scared of his feet. He won't hurt you. <laughs> sure, Bird got cut by him once. <laughs> He likes the ladder, for one. <laughs> Loves the ladder. It's like, can I climb it? I want to climb it. Let me climb it. You like it? Oh god, I was like, what There's the heck? bugs in the water, so he'll really like that. Yeah, she's like, it's my home! Hi, honey. I'm right here. Here, I go in the pool. He will not swim far away from me. He comes right to the side. Ow, I'm getting bit by a horse fly. I him. He loves people. Yeah, yeah go home. Hi, Brennan, don't be hurt. Don't, Brennan. 
Don't be hurting. your booty off now. Yeah, I dry my booty off. <laughs> I drip it. It'll get I'm peeing. <laughs> it does. Goes in. Next time, I'm gonna take the floaty bit so we don't bust them. Mm-hmm. I dry my booty off. Thanks. I Good my boy, booty. huh? I dry my booty off. Dry your booty off. <laughs> no, booty Brennan, you don't. I dry my booty off. You dry your booty off. What about you? You dry your booty off. I dry my booty off. <laughs> Oh, you'll take a by accident. Don't, Brennan. Back up from him when you're Ooh, doing this. Towels. How do you oh. drive so fast? How does he drive so fast? It's a ghost on the loose. It's a ghost on the loose. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Don't bite me. You don't like you can't get out of your stall anymore. You go eat your grass. Okay. Go eat your grass. Mm -hmm. So we had to come in and beat the heat in the AC for a little bit. Take a break and get some lunch. So if you like the video about the chickens and the little Hulkster, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. The summer is here. The nice weather is here. We're going to be outside doing lots. Um, Hulk's going to be growing very quickly. He loves the pool, so stay tuned for more videos. Uh, like and subscribe. Also, follow us on Instagram. It's Triple B Family Traditions on Instagram. So have a great day.